Americans spend billions of dollars per year attending live concerts, theater productions, movies, purchasing pre-recorded music, DVD movies, and video games. All of these products require an audio soundtrack and equipment developed by audio engineers. Also, low-cost digital audio workstations, or DAWs, are now available to consumers. As a result, there is a high demand for audio engineering technology courses at credible universities. Consequently, program administrators find themselves asking, what are the core set of classes for AET programs? Should audio signal flow and processing be taught mainly inside of Pro Tools, or are large format consoles still needed for effective student learning? On what or where should we be investing in future technologies? Dr. David Tuff of Belmont University in Nashville, Tennessee, sought to answer these questions in his seminal research conducted between January through April of 2009. This research utilized qualitative and quantitative measures as defined by the Delphi method. Participants in the study included experts in the audio field. These audio experts had two or more of the following, a minimum of 10 years experience in the audio field, five commercially available recordings or products, viewed by peers as leaders in the audio industry, and viewed by their peers as adopters of new technology in the audio industry. The study selected 52 panelists from across the United States. The study had three rounds. The first had two focus questions. What essential competencies need to be taught in AET programs 10 years from now to prepare AET students effectively for a career in the audio industry of the future. Given a limited budget typical of smaller AET programs, what essential technologies must be purchased for an AET program 10 years from now to prepare AET students effectively for a career in the audio industry of the future? Panelists responded to each question and the results were coded for main themes. In round two, the top 160 competencies identified in round one were ranked by panelists on a scale of one to five. In round three, the results in round two were ranked for each panelist individually and returned to them. The panelists again assessed each item. Results of the study showed that out of 160 competencies, 154 reached a level of statistical consensus of 51% or more. Furthermore, it suggested that to prepare students graduating in 2019, a four-year AET program should purchase and maintain the following equipment. Outboard gear, audio monitors, microphones, ear protection, computers, software, and condenser microphones. The lowest ranked equipment was analog multi-track recorders, studio furniture, and software slash administrative. The following conclusions were made by Dr. Tuff based on the data. The competencies needed by AET graduates are multidisciplinary with unique educational needs. However, communication and leadership skills are essential. Practical skills should be balanced with theoretical content and therefore AET students must be offered several internship and mentorship opportunities. Traditional business, music business, and MIDI competencies are important. It's important for AET graduates to develop troubleshooting skills and basic electronics competencies. For the overall success of students and the audio industry, a standard curriculum and accrediting body should be established and then the technology needed to teach future AET curriculum should be identified. Tuff recommended that AET administrators evaluate their current AET curricula for diversity, multidisciplinary competencies, interdepartmental interaction, and develop coursework for leadership and communication competencies. Because the results of the study demonstrated the importance of communication skills, 
Tufts suggests that AET students take a minimum of two to three writing and communications courses. Employers in Tufts study responded that they can teach an employee how to operate a console on the job. However, it is much more difficult to teach a new employee how to communicate effectively with clients or word a coherent email. Other courses recommended by Tufts to insert into an AET curriculum include musical and critical listening skills, business skills, MIDI competencies, basic troubleshooting, and electronic competencies. AET programs should begin investing in technologies such as multiple digital audio workstations augmented with quality analog outboard gear and quality monitors for critical listening. Focus on smaller digital consoles over large format consoles is also recommended. Thanks to Dr. David Tuff, we have a baseline of the core competencies needed for future AET graduates. This video, however, is only a snapshot of AET curriculum development, and the viewer is invited to view the entire study online. Visit davetuff.com slash tuffaetdissertation2009.pdf.